This is question number 95 from book number one based on the 2020 NEC. And this is electricaltime.com. How many square inches is 10 AWG THHN conductor? And 10 AWG bare conductor. Both are solid. So we got a couple of choices here. Is it A? 0 0.0211 and 0 0.008 square inches? Is it B, 0 0.0211 and 0 0.011 square inches? Is it C, 4.166 and 0 0.102 square inches? Or is it D, 0 0.164 and 2.588 square inches? Just want to take 30 seconds to let you know what we do here at electricaltime.com. We do online electrical classes from the comfort of your home. And then we also have this free service. So if you click on the subscribe for free NEC questions, Monday through Friday, you'll get an NEC code question and an answer sent to your email. All right, so back to our video. If anybody knows the answer to this question without looking at the code book, you are an absolute genius. I have to look at the code book to find this answer. And the answer is going to be A, and that is going to be 0 0.0211 and 0 0.008 square inches. All right, so we're looking at this and we're saying, hey, what, what article are we talking about here? They're asking us about the square inches and about the THHN conductor and the bare conductor. And we're being told that this is solid. So we're going to go to chapter nine and we're going to find some very special tables there. So let's go the, there together and take a look. All right, so we're going to go to chapter 9, and that's called the tables. And the first table we're going to look at is table 5, and that's called dimensions of insulated conductors and fixture wires. Okay, we'll take a look at table 5 first. So put the video on pause, and let's go to table 5 together. All right, so we're going to go there. On our video here and just going to say a few words about the nfpa link it's having the code book on your cell phone absolutely fantastic uh, you can go check it out at nfpa.org and uh, they i think they give you like a two-week free trial so you can go check that out all right so we are going to go to table five and table five in chapter nine is called dimensions of insulated conductors and fixture wires and we were told that the conductor that we're looking for is going to be t h h n so we find that there in the first column and that's going to be under type then the next thing that we have to take a look for is the size of that conductor and that's going to be in that first uh, row there first column where we have those numbers and we're going to find that we see THHN and then we see 10 a w g all right so i'm going to shrink this a little bit so we can see this whole thing here all right so now the next thing that we're going to look for is the approximate area and we're looking at square inches we are not looking at mm squared for millimeters squared so if you pick up those numbers and the question is asking you about you know the square inches you're going to get all messed up so make sure you're looking at the square inches on this one and if we follow that across for the thhn 10 gauge we see that the answer is going to be 0 0.02 one one and that's going to be the answer to the first part of our question all right really important table 
Uh, it's going to be table five in chapter nine. Actually, all of the tables in chapter nine are really super important. All right, the next table we are going to take a look at is going to be table eight, and that's called conductor properties. And it's a very busy table. And again, I highly recommend you go check out the NFPA link over at nfpa.org. All right, so the first thing that we have to, you know, look at this table and not go too nuts right now. All right, so we're going to look at the first column, and that's going to be talking about the size of AWG or the KC mill. And then we're going to find 10, but we see that listed twice. And let me zoom in so you can see that, all right? It's listed twice. And if you notice over here, we have a number one, and then we have a number seven. So the number one means solid. Number seven is going to be stranded, and that's going to have, you know, seven strands in there. All right? So we're looking for solid. So we're going to be looking at the number one, you know, in that column that is called quantity. All right, so let's continue to see how to use this complicated table but it's actually easy once you understand you know how it's structured all right so we're going to look now for the area and we find that over here and again we are looking for inches squared we're not looking for millimeters squared so don't let that mess you up and we look at the intersection of 10 a w g and that's going to be from here and that i'm just going to draw this all the way across so we can see this a little bit easier and we can see at the intersection of the area for the square inch we see that for 10 a w g bear that that is going to equal uh, 0 0.008 and that's going to be the number that we are looking for. All right, so let's go back up to our textbook here, and let's continue solving this here. All right, so uh, we also looked at table 8, which is called conductor properties, and that's where we found the square inches for the bare conductor. All right, so step 1, we, got, we went to chapter 9, table 5, and then we found type THHN conductor in the type column and we saw that 10 AWG has 0 0.0211 square inches. Then in step number two we went to chapter 9 table 8 and we found that 10 AWG conductor with a stranding quantity of 1 which is for solid conductor, and we saw that 10 AWG bare conductor has 0 0.008 square inches. And again, the answer to this question is A, and that's going to be uh, 0 0.0211 and 0 0.008 square inches. And we found this in Chapter 9, Table 5, and in table number eight.